Tesla is coming up for lunch by herself. I need to make some sandwiches, so I gotta go up in the town and get sandwich making materials. She weighs about like 10 pounds, so she's not gonna be eating much. But it's always great to see her. It's gonna be fun. I might see some cool cars on the way. Yes, you're right. This is vlog 479. 479, that makes it 21 away from 500 vlogs. I don't know what to say, man. I did not think I would be here. But since I am, let's create some coolness. So I just got confirmation I'm going to a private event tomorrow night that's being put on by Car and Driver magazine and Hyundai. We're gonna check out the G90, which is their big ass, big daddy the flagship car. It's just gonna, it's their, their huge Hyundai flagship car. That's gonna be cool, because we just finished driving the G80, which was nice. I mean, that was nice, right? The G90 is one step up. It's, uh, it's bigger. It's got lots of other kinds of doodads and things in it. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna talk to the publisher of Car and Driver magazine because we can. If you want me to ask Car and Driver magazine, the publisher, something interesting, put it down in the comment section and I'll consider asking him that question. Don't make me ask something stupid. sweet fair lane really nice and it's for sale if you're into Ford fair lanes from the 50s might be a good car for you and if not it's still pretty cool <laughs> had lunch. I, I didn't put Isla on the vlog because, yeah, she's not necessarily comfortable being filmed, especially while she's eating the food's flying out everywhere. So we just had lunch. We had a good time. Kathy is now back out to work. What are you doing? I'm working. I, that's definitely what's going on here. Yep, I'm Kathy is working on a chin. I can say that. You can say a chin. So Kathy's working on The Ellen Show and it's a new costume. She's just kind of prepping to get things started. Today's first day. Looks good so far. It does. Looks freaking awesome, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't see. No, we can't show you what it is, but you will see it soon enough because they're gonna be doing the 12 days of Christmas a little bit earlier than usual, from what I understand. So I'm not sure when, but uh, watch well, the show. If I can get it done, if I can't, 
then it'll be like uh, 10 days of Christmas. <laughs> Probably not. Or no Christmas at all. Oh, sad. Bug, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Couple of nice cars today. Few decent vehicles up in town. It's such a great place to live. There, you know, every time I go up in town, there is always some form of coolness. Uh, Jeeps or, or uh, today that uh, incredible Ford Fairlane. That thing is for sale. It looked flawless. Someone's going to snag that one, and uh, and it's going to be a good find. Unless, of course, it's like you know, eighty thousand dollars or something. I, I didn't even check the price. I think it just had a phone number on it. Not too often that you see a car sitting out there that is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a concourse level uh, of, of class. It, was, it wasn't a hundred point car, but it, it had some you know minor flaws to it. But it looked pretty sweet. Okay, let's talk about habits for a second. Everybody's got habits. Good habits, bad habits. The whole game of life is to eliminate the bad habits and cultivate the good habits. And, 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 and to where you, at some point along the way, you eliminate all your bad habits and you you cultivate all good habits. Now, of course, some of you may say that, oh, come on, you can't you can't cut out, you know, chocolate or wine or some of our vices, some of our, our favorite things. Uh, you know, yeah, that's that's true. But at, at, the, at the core, at the bottom line, even if it seems like it's a bad habit, like let's say chocolate, is chocolate a bad habit? It's not really. But if, it's, if you're eating way too much of it and you're getting sick or you're getting fat or something like that, then sure enough, it's a bad habit. I mean, anything can be a bad habit. You can, you can eat broccoli too much. You know, that'd be disgusting, you know, but uh, that could be a bad habit if you're eating broccoli all the time and not eating anything else. But one of the habits that I've cultivated that I've always loved ever since I was young was reading. I always loved to read, but not reading novels or, or stories, things like that, but books on success, books on uh, biographies, things that are interesting, something to where I can read and I can learn and I can, I feel like I'm growing. And this is one book that we're currently reading now, even though I've read it multiple times, it's Success, Success Principles by Chad Canfield. There's really no better book out there for success, but you know, even if, you, if you're a multimillionaire or even if you're a billionaire, even if you have tons of money or no money, these kinds of books help. Because what they, what they try to do is get you to focus. And, and the more that you can focus and hone in on what it is that you're trying to achieve, the closer you're gonna get to that thing. The reason people don't succeed is that they're all over the place. They've got an internal dialogue that's happening so fast and, and going all over the place that they can't control it. It's like trying to wrangle in a bunch of crazy horses. But the one way to deal with a situation like that is that you can't pull those horses in. You just gotta let them go. You just gotta drop that stuff. You gotta drop all that stuff that's not working and stop making a big deal out of it and turn it into something good. You gotta find something to focus on. I focus on cars. I focus on this vlog. I focus on doing some art. I focus on doing some cool reading. Something that's gonna help me grow and stay focused and kind of calm things down so that things start to work out. Well, the thought for the day is just to kind of uh, kind of let things go. If you're stressed out over something, something, something somebody said or something somebody did, or maybe you have too, you, you, you weigh too much or you weigh too little or you're eating too much of this, not enough of that, whatever it is for you, it doesn't really matter. What matters is how you think about it. You gotta stop looking at that thing as a bad thing and start looking at what you're doing that's right. So concentrate on your successes. Feel good about the progress that you're making, even if it's a small, tiny, like like this big. Those successes are important. You gotta point those out, you gotta pat yourself on the back, and you gotta move forward. Okay, that's it for today's vlog. This is 479. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, I'm going to a private car and driver event. We're gonna check out the Genesis G90. I got I had to correct myself, it's not a Hyundai, it's a Genesis rebranded. Very cool car, but we get a chance to meet the publisher of Car and Driver magazine and to talk and, and kind of peruse things and you know go over you know what's happening with magazines nowadays. Alright, that's it. Gotta go have dinner. It smells awesome, by the way, it smells freaking awesome. Peace out, we'll see you guys later.